Hi guys, it's Giselle. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, we're going to be playing with some makeup. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, stay tuned. my face with moisturizing with you guys know my holy grail the Clinique 100 hour moisture surge I also went ahead and primed my lids with the urban decay eyeshadow um, anti-aging potion one most of the items that are going to be featured in this video came from Merit Beauty now if you've never heard of Merit Beauty before they are a clean minimalist beauty line and they really pride themselves on not having all of those toxic chemical ingredients that are bad for your skin, your body, or the planet. They're vegan, cruelty-free. Most of their packaging is recycled material as well. Merit did reach out to me. They gifted me these products for the purpose of me trying them out. I have been using these products now for like the last week and a half, and most of these have been what I'm grabbing for on a daily basis. I've used their products with and without primer and they work really well with both. I wanted to show you this product in this video so I'm just going to go ahead and use a primer. Right now this has been like my favorite go-to. This is the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer Base. It's silicone free and let me tell you it has quickly become one of my favorites. Now, you guys know I'm not a huge primer fan. I really don't use that much primer, but this is for, for the price, guys. This is such a good dupe for the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. If you like that clear, this is like silicone free, but it just feels so good. And you can't go wrong. I mean, drugstore items, this is like high up there on that list. I know, I think this is one of those like viral ones that went viral where a lot of people really liked it. And yeah, I, I can see why. Highly recommend. So the Merit products came in this really cute corduroy bag. Oh, like, that's just adorable. These two products, spoiler alert, are my favorite products from their line these would be my go-to purchases. Like I can totally see myself repurchasing this. I actually want to purchase another one of these just to have like a different shade. First up, we have their brush number one. And this actually won last year's Allure Beauty, um, Beauty Winner Award. This is what I've been using to use their complexion stick. Now, this is a complexion stick. It's not considered a foundation or a concealer. It's supposed to take the place of both of them. And really how they advertise this is you kind of go in and use it where you need it, buff it out, and it's supposed to give you like this nice blurring effect. Your skin shows through, so it's very skin-like. I'm not a huge fan of like foundation stick products. So I didn't have high hopes for this, but guys, this has been amazing. This is what it comes in. I have the shade Bone, and I'll show you on my hand. And it's a good color match. This is supposed to be a medium coverage. Something that I bought at TJ Maxx, and you can like turn the light brightness down or up. And it's a magnifying mirror. So I thought that this was a cool little thing. Now, what I like to do is just line, create some lines in the face. It doesn't matter. You're going to blend it all out anyways. I do two coats of this and it just feels amazing on your skin. Like honestly, out of everything that I've like ever tried for foundations, I would say this is the most skin-like that I felt. And it is not heavy, it's not greasy. It honestly feels like your skin. 
it does it really just feels like your skin this is like for a very minimalistic look looks really natural and clean some of like my freckles still show through it just lays so nicely on the skin and i find that as like the day progresses it looks even better so easy to use really it's like so quick now it's probably not showing like it's a quick application on here because I tend to just be really slow when I'm making my videos. I just want to talk about it and show you what I'm using. That's what it's looking like with one coat. It took away most of like the discoloration that I had. I like to go in and just do another coat. I feel that looks the best for my skin type. And can we just talk about this as a concealer? I have to set my concealer like all the time. And with this, guys, I don't have to set under my eyes anymore. This just does not crease. If you have a problem with your concealer creasing, you might really like this product. I'm super happy that I don't have to set my under eyes anymore because I find that as I get older, when I do that, it just looks so like dry and sometimes cakey. I don't know. Like no matter what I do, when I set my under eyes now, it just looks dry. I think I need another shade to really conceal under my eye. That is what we're looking like up close. As you can see, it literally looks like my skin. Almost looks like you're not wearing any. That's really what it's made for. Your beautiful skin to come through and just covering up the spots that might be problematic. I haven't tried applying this with a sponge. I don't know if I would like how it looks. I feel like I like it so much with the brush, like why use the sponge? I found that it's actually not the best if you use your fingers, kind of like gets patchy. It's much easier to use the brush. They have 20 shades. I believe they have six fair shades, seven medium, and seven deep. The next product that I'm going to be using is their brow gel. This is in the color brown. They only have three shades. They have a brown, they have a blonde, and they have a black one. They didn't have the black one in stock, so I got the brown. Out of all of the products I've tried so far, this is probably my least favorite product of theirs. And it's only a preference thing. And the reason why I don't particularly care too much for it is because I like my brow products, the brushes to be like super tiny so that I can have control over where I put it. I feel like this brush is just, it's just too big. But if you like a bigger brush, like maybe you have like really thick brows, you are probably gonna like this. I would typically go in with another product. We're just gonna use this one so that you can see what it looks like on its own. My eyebrows have been like growing in recently because of another product that I'm using. And yes, I eventually will get to film that video for you. I think I said that a while ago, but I promise I will share you my eyebrow growing serum <laughs> secret it's not a secret the wand is ginormous compared to like the actual product itself i think maybe they do that because of like having control of the handle i feel like it does hold my eyebrows in place it just gives you like a really natural looking brow so if you don't want your brows done up too much, you might like this. Next up, we're going in with some blush. The blush comes in this cute little container here. I got the shade Beverly Hills. This is another one of my favorite products. I would say this is my second favorite product from their line. I literally have been doing this thing where I'm not using I'm not using like bronzer right now. I'm just going in with this. Now, I feel like the best way to apply this is with your fingers and just like blend it in. 
and I don't know what it is about this color but I feel like it really suits my skin tone. When it comes to like blushes that are a balmy or like a creamy consistency, I don't have the best luck with them. With this, it's kind of like hard to mess up. So that's what we're looking like so far. You can use this on your lips. I haven't tried it as a lip product yet. I'm going in with the NARS Translucent Crystal Setting Powder, but I'm only doing certain areas because I don't need, I don't need to set the whole face. I'm just going to do this little area right here and the chin. That's it. Up next, we have their highlighter and they have two shades. The one that I got is the Kava, and it comes in this cute little tube. This is just a very natural looking highlighter, and you can build it up, but I just feel like if you want like a super, super glowy one, and very, very like sparkly, this there's no sparkle in this. But I absolutely love how it looks on your skin because again it just looks so natural it's got like a dewy texture throughout the entire day some people like that some people don't as you can see it does give you this nice glow it's just very natural if you're looking for like very natural looking makeup this is it we're gonna go in with their lip product this is what it looks like this is the lip lippy this is in the shade pink beet and this is like a lip oil a lip gloss a lip balm type of product and it has a lot of pigment to it i feel for a lip oil or a lip balm it is very pigmented which i like and the thing about this is it does not dry out your lips. If you use a lot of lip oil, you guys know that some of the products out there really can dry out your lips. This does not do that. This is considered a cool, oh, what did I do there? A cool pink tone. This kind of looks a little more on the corally side. I really like this shade on me. It looks, you know, pretty, pretty natural, but it does have color to it. This is not transfer proof. So it will transfer onto things that you're eating or drinking. It just like sets in very nicely on the lips and it feels very nourishing and hydrating. Final product from Merit is their mascara in Perfect Black. This is a lengthening mascara. This also won last year's Allure, the 2021 Allure Beauty Winner Award. And this seems to be a favorite amongst many people. So that is what the brush looks like. It is a very natural looking mascara. I absolutely love the fact that I can layer this on as many layers as I need and it never gets clumpy. Never gets clumpy. It's just very natural looking. It lengthens, it separates. No mascara? Mascara. I'm so in love with the complexion stick. Like I really am. And I feel, I feel like I wanna get another stick in a dark a darker shade like contour i think it would that would be amazing just because of like the texture i know that i love the finish that i love the texture that it would probably look amazing i'm sorry guys i'm like literally running my gums this entire video i didn't put any eyeliner on today i haven't put on any eyeshadow today I wanted you guys to get the idea of what this really looks like 
with less makeup on. And there really are all about less is more. Less is more with this makeup brand. All right, guys, that is it for the makeup look today. Just very natural. It took me a little longer because I'm filling, filming this video, but quite honestly, during the week, you know, work days, I can do my makeup like this in like 10 minutes. It's so quick, so easy. You could do it in five, but I take a little longer just because that's just normally me. I just think it gives you a really natural, no makeup makeup look. So again, all of these products were gifted to me by Merit Beauty. Thank you so much, Merit Beauty. Also, they did give me an affiliate link. So if you want to check that out, I will link that down below for you. If you liked this video, please go ahead and leave me a thumbs up so that I know that you enjoyed it. Also, let me know in the comments section below if you've ever tried Merit Beauty. If so, what is your favorite product? If you like these types of videos, but you're not already subscribed, I hope that you will consider subscribing and becoming a part of my subscriber family. I have other reviews and get ready with me videos. I will link those up here for you. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.